Welcome to Reader's Workshop, boys and girls. To get started, I want you to envision this scene. I want you to make this movie in your mind. Imagine for a moment Mrs. Hands at 20 years old. At that time, I was waitressing at a diner while I was finishing college. Sometimes I would get a table that had 10 to 12 people at it, and their order would be huge. I remember the one particular time when I had a large table and I was really rushing. I was hustling because I had so many tables to wait on. So I stacked my tray full of plates. I even added a second layer of small plates so that I could bring all the food at the same time instead of taking two trips. I pushed the enormous tray off the counter and onto my shoulder. I could feel my wrist trembling under the weight, but I was determined to deliver all the food at once to save time. As I approached the swinging double doors to leave the kitchen, I turned to push the door open with my back. Suddenly, now, make a prediction of what you think will happen. Pause the video. All right, now think about your prediction and think to yourself, which details helped you to make that prediction? You might have said the tray stacked in a double layer. You might have said my trembling wrist. You might have said that I was opening the door with my back. Yep, you're right. I dropped the entire tray of food. The plates shattered on the kitchen floor and I created a huge mess. You see, one of the small plates slid as I opened the door and I tried to catch it. I leaned forward ever so slightly and the entire tray of food slid. I lost balance and dropped everything. You made that prediction based on the knowledge of the situation, the potential problems, and because you know a lot about how stories usually go. You made a smart text-based prediction and not a wild guess. And that's our learning target for today. Today, you are going to predict what might happen next using what you know about characters, problems, and the knowledge of how stories usually go. And today, we are not gonna make any wild random guesses. So let's try this with the book Year of the Dog. We're gonna revisit the section that we read during read aloud today, Mom Sleeps in School. Now remember, Mom's school makes them wear uncomfortable, stiff uniforms. The principal gives long speeches, and it's crucial that they follow the rules and work hard. So when Mom falls asleep, we can predict how her teacher might react based on how strict her school is. I don't think they're going to rub her back and give her a bed to lay down on. And our prediction is confirmed when mom falls asleep and the teacher is so angry. She puts a mark next to her name and the mom is so embarrassed. You see, the information about the school helped us make an accurate text-based decision. Now, you're going to try making some smart text-based predictions by peeking ahead. We're going to peek ahead into chapter 7, which we're actually going to read next week. You see, in chapter 7, Pacey goes to her friend Melody's house after school, and they're hungry for candy. And this is what the text says. Don't you have any candy? I asked. No, Melody said, but we have vitamins. They're kind of sweet. So we opened the big jar of vitamins. There was a big letter C on them. They were thin and flat and tasted like oranges. They were pretty good, not as good as candy, but still yummy. We all sat on the floor eating vitamins. Now, I want you to pause the video here and share your predictions with the class. And then explain your reasons behind your predictions.
Now, let's see what happens. Melody's mother seemed a little upset with us. I didn't know why. I thought she would be happy that we were being so healthy. Now ask yourself, was your prediction confirmed? Yes, it happened. Or did you have to revise your thinking? And remember, incorrect predictions happen all the time and that's okay. Just be sure that you didn't miss important information that would have helped you make an accurate prediction. Sometimes our predictions can be inaccurate if we didn't carefully envision the story. Today, you're going to predict what will happen next with your independent reading book. You're going to mark the page with a sticky note and you're going to jot if your prediction was confirmed or if you had to revise. So first, jot your prediction on the sticky note. You're going to think about the characters, what you know about them. You're going to think about the problems and how stories usually go to make a strong prediction. And then you've got to read on to see if it was confirmed or if you need to revise or change your thinking. When you feel comfortable with your post-it note, you're going to submit a picture of your sticky note with your prediction on it. And be sure to let us know if your prediction was confirmed or if you needed to revise. Enjoy your reading today.